What's up jammers? Welcome to Fan Jam. This is a video that's all about you guys, even if you're not a fan and you're one of those haters, it's okay, you can still join in. It's personally one of my favorite videos because it's so awesome receiving messages from you all each week and reading all the cool things you guys have to say, so I can't wait. Let's get into it. First up we have Ooh Woo that says Ooh Woo. Okay, that's the best uwu voice I can do, so you're not going to get a very good uwu voice out of me at all. My voice is way too deep. Uwu! Nah, definitely not happening. So, but very cute, very, very cute uwu there, and um, nice, nice. We'll keep, we'll keep going. Next up, we have a comment from Riley. They say, hi guys, Kyle, what did you used to do before you went to InfoJam? Awesome, thanks Riley, nice to hear from you, great question. What I used to do before InfoJam was I worked on InfoJam behind the scenes. So all the stuff that you can see, like the graphics and the website and even the set here and stuff like that, that's what I do, that's what I worked on. I help with the lighting and things like that. So I was behind the scenes. And if you go back even further, you might see me or know me from some other videos that we've created here. Um, so yeah, that's what I I was doing before and thanks for asking all right next up is anon they say one day maybe you can do a fun day like a ask us questions and can you bring liam lids and frankie on the screen and that hope you like this idea and on that is an awesome idea i love the idea especially the idea of bringing liam lids and frankie back on for a time that would be cool i'd love to see them back on the show at some point and um asking questions yeah i can ask you guys some questions now love to hear from you guys uh let me know what what's your favorite animal there you go what's your favorite animal oh and who is your most favorite person in the world to you who is your the person in your life around you that is your most favorite person in the whole world ever full stop bff for life let me know that'd be cool all right next up qwerty has laid out a challenge and put a challenge out there they've said eat a chili okay i guess well we've put it out there there's a challenge there eat a chili i've got a chili here just gonna let you guys know is that i actually really love spicy food and i eat really really hot spicy food um and i've pushed my limits before in different challenges and videos that i've done so i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm gonna get much of you guys are gonna get much of a reaction but I've never eaten a whole chili like this before, so I don't even know what this is like, if it's good or it tastes good. I just usually like it in spicy food. So here we go, here we go. Here goes eating a chili, just for you, QWERTY. There's a little bit of spice there. Woo! I got hiccups. <laughs> I've never, never eaten a whole chili before. We won't really fast forward through this. We'll cut ahead. Maybe, I don't know, we don't want to make the video too long. I got some water here. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can uh, get rid of the hiccups. I did not expect that to be that spicy. Whew, okay, we are back. Thanks for that, Query. And that was a big challenge. Oh man, that was that was uh, spicy. Okay, let's get through the rest of the info jam. And okay, to finish us off, thankfully, it is the <laughs> final quick comment, and it's from Fire, which is what my mouth is doing right now. It is on fire. They say hi. My school loves Kiwi Kids news. Who invented? Came up with the idea. Well, Fire, that is an awesome question. Thanks for asking. Um, who came up with it is a guy called Shem Banbury, and he is the editor and the creator and the founder of Kiwi Kids News. You might see some of the articles there written by him, um, and so he's the one that created it. He was overseas, and he saw that other countries were offering new sites and news services for kids, and he thought that New Zealand should have one because we didn't have one. So he went ahead and created it, and it's growing so well, and it's awesome to see kids enjoying it and getting involved with it. So that's where it came from. Thanks for asking, Fire. Okay, that brings us to the this that brings us to this week's fan jam to a close. If you guys want to have your messages read out, send me a message on the jam page on KiwiKidsNews.co.nz. We'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully by then my mouth has stopped burning. And remember. Never stop the jam! 
<laughs> Alright guys, Kageteano. I'll see you later. Ah!